a huge Maddie and Peter update. KFC got called out for an irresponsible ad during the coronavirus outbreak. And I may be the first person in media to know who the next Bachelor will be already. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Pop Politics. Yesterday, I went to the grocery store for the first time during the coronavirus era that we're in. Everyone was wearing gloves, like the people shopping, the cashiers, the toilet paper was completely sold out. The only bottled water that was left was that nasty fake strawberry flavored kind, and everyone seemed real jumpy. And I was over there just strolling past everyone. I got my Reese's Puff cereal and my Oreos. I'm a tiny dainty woman, and these donuts are my lunch. This bitch is organic. It's called health clean living. The coronavirus is afraid of me. The only energy I want right now during these corona times is whatever my friend James Klug is on. Strapped and sanitized, baby. That's how we living out here. Madison announced that her and Pete broke up last night, two days after they announced that they were together. Here's some actual footage of Peter's mom, Barb, finding out the news. <laughs> Wait, it looks like this is what she posted at the exact same time Maddie and Peter posted their announcement. Leaving on a jet plane, don't know when I'll be back again. So it looks like I wasn't too far off. Maddie couldn't have been more unbothered by it all because she was hanging out with Selena Gomez and having a game night. Love that for her. Hey guys, I hope everyone is being safe and taking good care of yourselves. We are stocking up on games. Maddie, what game do you want? <laughs> um. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> KFC suspended advertisements that use the brand's finger licking good slogan because of the coronavirus outbreak. There were several complaints about the ad and slogan that they've used for years because people said it was irresponsible and potentially encourages behavior that might increase the chances of coronavirus. Go wash your hands. Thanks. It's chicken. It ain't that deep. Um, if you're one of these people, please identify yourself so that I can block you, unblock you, and then block you again. What we're not gonna do is come for the Colonel. You know who you should have been worried about? Your boy Bloomberg. I think he might be the real coronavirus host. Patient zero right here, but y'all don't wanna talk about that. That his people put out. Oh, his campaign put this out. He's, he's, he's chowing down. He's in down. Virginia. Oh, wow. He's campaigning for Super Tuesday. He's chowing down a little bit. That's good. Eating some food. That's good. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's good. All right. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's finger looking good. Uh -oh. That's fine, right? Production of The Morning Show has been suspended due to the coronavirus outbreak. The Apple drama starring Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon is taking a two week hiatus. Now this has gone too far. Too far. You mess with my show, you mess with me. <laughs> Call me Kate Gosselin because I need to speak to the manager. These are all the things that are shut down. Disney World, Disneyland, Billie Eilish's tour, Kiss, March Madness, Michael Buble. My mom is gonna be very upset. Jason Aldean, literally all of them just shut down. There's about to be a massive baby boom, I think, with all these people just sitting around at home bored. I'm pretty sure Joe from You on Netflix was onto something with that glass cage situation. On a scale of one to 10, how psycho would it be for me to put my crush in one of those glass boxes? I'll just tell him I'm trying to keep him healthy. Watch the Bachelorette filming get canceled too. And then the only eligible Bachelor next season will be Mr. Clean. That's all we'll have left people, bald and beautiful. But that booty though. We're back Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, God willing, unless a giant germ gets me. Ooh, careful, boys. Not all at once. <laughs> it's pop culture without the propaganda every single day. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Poplitic. Get him up. Get him up. Hit subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so that you're always up to date on the latest conservative. And follow us at our main home on Instagram, at Poplitics.